everybody, it's Cindy with So Stinking Crafty. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about using the nesting function on Silhouette Studio. I'm using the Designer Edition version 3.1.417. This is a DE function only. It's not available on the standard version. You'll have to upgrade to the Designer Edition to use it. So what is nesting? There's two parts to the nesting function. Today we're going to focus on the default settings and then at a later date we'll focus on the other part of the function. But the one we're going to be talking about today is a way of optimizing space. So in this case, the nesting function positions duplicate copies of images or multiple different images to optimize space and reduce waste. So you're not using all of your vinyl and pattern paper and cardstock. Um, you're not wasting a lot of it. So with your you want to open an image, and with that image selected, it can be a Silhouette Studio image, it can be a PNG file or a JPEG that you've traced. You want to select it, and then you want to go up to the Replicate window, which is the little icon that looks like a flower. You're going to click on that. On the little flower icon, there we go. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, the window that opens and you're going to click on fill page. So in this case I ended up with 36 mustaches that I'm going to use for birthday party favors. But there's a lot of wasted space as you can see there's anywhere from half to three-fourths of an inch between each column and that's a lot of wasted space. That's at least two inches. We could probably get another two mustaches in that space if we wanted to take the time to shuffle them all together. You don't have to do that though because Silhouette does it for you which is awesome. It was one of the upgrades I was really excited about when the new version came out. So you want to make sure you have absolutely nothing selected. Click off in the gray space, click in the white space, something like that. You don't want anything selected. You're going to go up to the um, big N icon to open the nesting window. And you're going to leave everything exactly as it is, so the default values. You're going to use the cut area function. The rest of it you're going to ignore. You're going to make sure the align um, button is unchecked and you're going to leave the rotation and padding alone. Then you can click next and it's going to squish and rotate and optimize the space so you're eliminating waste. So you're left with a lot of extra white space that you can fill in with more mustaches or more whatever you're working on. So you're going to duplicate those images again and to do that you can either click and hold the control button and then click A to select all or you can drag a box over the top of all of your images and that's the same as selecting all or you can go edit select all it's all the same thing it's just three different ways to get there then you're going to right click you're going to hit copy and you're going to right click and you're going to hit paste and that duplicates your images all of them again and you're going to drag that down you can leave it up at the top it really doesn't matter but if you want to see how much space you're going to you're going to be getting um, go ahead and drag it on down so you can see it then you're going to click in a blank space again and click nest you're going to give a little processing window and you're going to see it all optimized so it's squished it's rotated and you're left with some that just don't fit and the way you're going to know that is because you'll have a little box around it they'll be highlighted in red and they'll be on top of the ones behind it so you want to click on your DEL key, the delete key, to get rid of those items. And those will go away and you'll be ready to cut with only the items that will fit on your 12 by 12 space. Or 8.5 by 11 if that's the page size you're looking at. So if you remember our original file, we only got 36. In the new one, we ended up with 67 mustaches, which is significantly more and we didn't waste space. So that's nesting in a nutshell, the first part of the, of the function. We'll cover the rest of it in a later video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more stinking crafty videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you later.